Hello and welcome to another one of my director's cuts. Okay, the time is... Half five. We're going cuckoo over Angelic. And I think that cuckoo's trying to tell us something here. Lock broom. Where me and Peter slept last night on the shores of. Sun's coming up, Peter. <coughs> so that looks like one of the top set and chillock up there. There's the snowy path. <coughs> Look at all the mountain goats up there, Peter. Okay. <coughs> Heard the mountain goats on Angelic. They'll be stinking. Wait here. That'll be the Fanix over there. Hey, hey, hey. Angelic. Some bad weather moving across though. Hope that doesn't hit. Okay, so it's snow again. On the attack, sorry, the attack, and chill. So we're well up in Chellock now. We've um, the big snowstorm. Way over there. So, kind of up there we go. We always like bumping into a bit of wildlife, and it always seems to be ptarmigans. Male ptarmigan there with the red above its eyebrow, and the uh, brown speckled tarm female ptarmigan behind them. So the walk started from Dundonnell on the banks of the little Loch Broom and unfortunately we got hit with that massive deluge of snow so it was snow everywhere and Peter and I didn't have the equipment for it. Yeah, no ice axe nor no crampons and uh, that's going to be our downfall soon, so that's I'll tell you. Hopefully. So now the views are really starting to open up, we've got the Summer Isles out there towards the sea and we're about to see the two tops for the first time. So we've got Skur Fiona there on the right, very pointed, and Biddy in a glass tool on the left behind Peter. Now we're going to get a view down into the Corrie Tool and Loch Ann. But first of all we'll look up Biddy in a glass tool. Lots of fresh snow to uh, conquer there. So here we go, the first glimpse down into the quarry and what an amazing view this is, but not as an amazing as when you get to the top of the first Monroe, that is a wow moment up there I tell you. Trick points up there. So there was no filming for a while, we had to concentrate on what we were doing. But look at this. Wow. So being the first up the mountain, after all that snow, we are the ones that are ploughing the furrow to the top. We've got lots of virgin cornice to christen there. 
but we're taking in some of the views. Summer Isles out there. Medina Glass Tool. And we've made it to the 1062 metre summit. Against all odds, Peter nearly slipped away uh, on the way up there, just near the summit. I had to stick my pole out and pull him up. By this point, Peter and I had already decided that one Monroe was going to be our tank for today because we may be daft, but we're not fucking totally stupid. <laughs> so we were just wallowing in the views, seeing we were up there. Lord Berkeley's seat, the pinnacles. Whoa. Just mind blown. Mind blown. As usual, when you go up these hills, you find out you're not alone. There was a couple just joined us straight after. We were the trailblazers though, we were the first up there. Fantastic. Done. So this is us dropped down and then uh, looking back up. You can see the snow starting to disappear already. It was the May Day bank holiday after all. Look at that, it's all gone. So that's the second Monroe score Fiona, which we never even contemplated climbing and to this day I still believe we made the right move. So the two Monroes together and Lord Berkeley's seat I do believe. Absolutely astounding scenery up there. And unfinished business, we will be back to get you Mrs Fiona. Me and Peter can I believe how different all this is. Look back at this morning's footage, totally white. More wildlife in Anchelic. This could be a common buzzard, but I'd like to think it's actually a golden eagle. Wishful thinking, perhaps, but who knows. Compare and contrast with the uh, earlier this morning. It's changed somewhat. Thanks. these rocks, Torridonian sandstone, all the pebbles in it. So another director's cut video comes to an end. This was a, certainly a contrast of uh, weather conditions. Nice and sunny now when we had a white out earlier on. I think we made the right decision in only bagging one Monroe and Anchelic is definitely the prettiest scenery I've ever seen in Scotland. Thanks for watching.